so here's my thought with the heroes. Um, the current overall best build is going to be infantry archers. Um, at the lower levels, like, I mean, this 29 and 25 twink, you could maybe get away with cavalry. But I'm just not quite sure what the best twink builds are going to be by the time I'm ready to actually invest in these. So I'm just going to do what I consider to be the best, like, free-to-play kind of build on all these. And then when you go to invest, you can always change things up. So, um... I think the hero selection is going to be about the same on all these. Looks like there's one missing here. Um, but a lot of these heroes you're kind of guaranteed to get. Um, like Drezia is going to be one of your first uh, infantry heroes. Same thing with Braum. And then Vickery is usually your first archer. And then at some point you'll get... Nami, Nami, I don't, I don't really know how you say it. Um, and then eventually we'll get Lamphy, and that would give us three archers, two infantry, and then the fifth, the sixth spot is going to be kind of left open for either Barbian, who's the mythical infantry hero, or Nonet, who's like a mythical archer hero. Either one of those is fine. Um, for darkness, um, Barbian's probably a little better just because it'll boost your uh, infantry stats, but I'm not really too worried about that. Um, either one's fine, and so I don't have any of those mythicals yet, so I'll just kind of focus on the epics. Um, so we have pretty much all the puzzle pieces we need for the first five. Um, we did pay for Severus. The only thing is, I mean, in, at, at rare, he's not gonna. He's only gonna be able to go up to level 80, so it's kind of useless. So we pretty much just bought him for the one dollar pack, and that's it. Um, and so we're not even gonna waste our materials leveling him past level one. So the first thing is we're going to filter out people who we don't want. So we don't want this pikeman, cavalry, cavalry, um, and the paid for hero. So there's our five. And I think all these are going to be pretty much the same. We got one extra archer here. Um, I forget his name. I'll have to click on him. He's a decent choice. Um, oh... Are we missing someone? No, never mind. I guess we only have four. So let me cut out this guy. Um, this guy's a decent choice, especially because he already comes at level 100. Um, there is a reason that I don't use him, though. And I will get into that when I talk about Bond, which is this stat down here. So... Uh, first, we'll just narrow down our selection here. Um, to these four. Um, the Lord you pick doesn't matter. Um, you kind of want to have the highest level character be your Lord. Like if you had five and you know, only one of them was level 100, and the rest were 80. You'd want to pick the level 100 just because you get a couple extra troops. But other than that, I mean, I usually just try to even level the heroes. Um, and then I, I just kind of pick the the Lord based on the aesthetic. And out of these, I kind of think Vickery's probably the coolest looking. I mean, it's not... They're all cheesy, but out of all these, I would say Vickery would be my pick. So I'm just going to do that. For each of these, and it's basically all that does is it moves this little crown icon. Um, so let me do that. Okay. Um, and then the next thing is going to be the stars. So Vickery's already blue, so we'll get these three to blue, starting with Drezia. I mean, I'll usually kind of have 
if I'm doing one archer before the others, one infantry before the others, it'd be these two. So let's go ahead and level him up. Oh, and plus it looks like he, we got a bunch of soul stones for him already. So I think he's already blue. That's good. Might go to purple. Yep. Doubt he'll go to legendary though. Yeah, I could keep leveling him, but we'll hold off till everybody's even. So we got our purple, blue. Um, between the two, I'd rather do archery. So, well, actually, let's see if we got his stones for him. No, okay. Um, so we'll do her first. I'm gonna get her to blue. And we'll get Brom to blue. Okay. Now I think I'll do Vickery first, and then if we have any left, I'll split it between these two. So let's see. Oh, she already has a bunch. Okay, well, that makes that easy. So, Archer again, so... Looks like we'll have enough to get her to Epic or Elite. And Brahms is just going to be stuck at uh, Rare. So that's fine. So now let's get them all to level 80 because late 80 is the highest he'll be able to get to. So. I think I'll stop at 60 just to make sure they can all get 60 and then we'll start pushing past that. It kind of seems like it shouldn't be an issue. Okay. Kind of zoned out and he went up to 70, but let's just get him to 80. He won't be able to go past 80, so yeah, so he's max. 
So then we'll go through all these, get them to 80. Looks like I might run out soon. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so yeah, following my own logic, um, we need to make Brom the Lord until we get Vickery to 80. So let me switch him back. And there you go, that's pretty much how you level the heroes. Um, and then I'll just quickly talk about Bond. So Bond is essentially this um, passive stat that you get from having certain heroes at certain levels. So um, we're getting this one because we have Severus, the guy we bought for a dollar, and Nami both at, I guess, just having them is why we get this. And then if we leveled both to five-star elite, we'd get this next one and so on and so forth. So the reason I like Nami is for this bond bonus. Um, you know, if you got her to five-star legendary and then you decide to invest in Severus, get him to five-star, you'd be able to get this um, bond bonus versus with the other archers, you don't get that. So that's why I like Nami. And then Lamphy is the same logic up here under Mage Legend. She's one of the heroes for this. Now Doris you have to pay money for, just like Severus, but at least if you already had her leveled, it's the same thing. She'd be done. You would just have to buy Doris to get these bond bonuses. Um, and the other good thing about buying these heroes, even if you're not going to use them for um, like your main combat heroes, you do get like... Um, Severus gives construction speed, Doris gives collection speed, so you can buy it just for the bomb bonuses um, if you wanted to. But either way, these two heroes would help with that. This middle bomb bonus, all three of these heroes you have to buy, and they're not cheap, so unless you're a big spender, I wouldn't even worry about that. Um, and this, the bond bonuses aren't as good as on this one. I mean, cavalry and infantry HP, it's very minor compared to the other ones. It's like legion, and, you know, in archer attack and stuff. So these are definitely better bond bonuses to go for than this one. If you can afford it, do it, obviously. But um, And then the last reason why I prefer Nami and Lamphy is there's this diamond shop. Um, and these deals cycle every day. And if you spend money, you get these Meteor Crystals, um, and you get these deals, and then if you don't, you still get these ones that are like 90% instead of 100%, I guess. Um, so it's a little bit of a discount, and when you cycle through these, you will occasionally see Nami Soul Stones. And I'm going to skip through. There's Nami again. I didn't get Lamphy, but Lamphy and Nami will come up here a lot. Um, Vickery and the other archer, I forget his name. Um, this this guy, this Brannock guy, he won't show up there either. So neither of those archers, you'll be able to take advantage of that. They don't have a bond bonus. Um, so I'd pick either one of those, Vickery or Brannock. Um, and Brannock has slightly different talents. Um, like, uh, there's like this armor or archer damage taken reduction is a stat he gets. But then I want to say Vickery is HP. Yeah, so it's like HP, damage taken, kind of the same stat. Um, they both do the, the physical defense and the attack, so... Very comparable, and you know neither gives a bomb bonus, neither gets the stones from the shop, so kind of just your preference, really. Um, but I would only do one of those. It's a less relevant hero later down the road than the other archers. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, like I said, eventually if I get Barbie in or No Net, that'd be one of the slots. And then the other hero I'm waiting on is Lamphy, who is guaranteed from the Novice Pack. Um, he gets some on day seven. 
I thought you got more later, but either way, this is enough to summon her. So, you know, once once you hit a week, you'll get this archer, and then that'll the, between all those heroes, you should be able to complete it. And you know, essentially, you want three infantry, three archers for dark nests, and then if you're going to do a PvP, you know, maybe you could switch it to four archers, two infantry, something like that. Um, but either way. That's the logic behind the heroes. I hope that's helpful to somebody, and we'll just uh, keep going here with the video.